Your mobile app is the best on the market, and yet a large majority of your new users will totally forget about it only a few days after the install. You can of course find comfort in knowing that this is not in any way a reflection of the quality of your work, but rather the result of the shrinking attention spam of your users bombarded with exponentially growing information. But if you decided to step up to the plate, you already know that email onboarding is one of the most powerful retention strategy there is, and that it starts by one simple yet critical component that can slightly impact the purchase of your next car. Hi everyone. I'm Gilles Argivier, and today I'm going to show you the eight keys you must use in your welcome email to power up your email onboarding flow. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the alert notification button to get notified on all my new posts. Key number one, write a catchy subject line. Although most of us would naturally expect to receive a welcome email when we subscribe to a company, only 50% of us actually open it. It is therefore critical to carefully craft that subject line. A subject line needs to be short to be able to be seen in the preview and include what your email is promoting and how it will benefit your customer. Key number two, focus on benefits, not features. Just as you want to reinforce your app's value, highlighting what users will ultimately gain from using your app is a powerful way to get them on board. Key number three, restate your core value proposition. I know, it sounds redundant to do so, but it is a great way to reassure your users that they have made the right decision downloading your app. It reminds them why they did it, and also clarifies, if needed, what they can expect to achieve with it. It is also a good opportunity to start introducing additional features in the case where your app is rather complex. Key number four, show the next onboarding steps. Now you've reminded them why they signed up, get them fully set up with your mobile app. And this usually requires them to take the next step that you must state clearly, like asking them to complete their profile, for example. Key number five, generate the aha moment. Made famous by Facebook, the aha moment is when the customer understands how they benefit from using your product or service. The goal is to get the user to this aha moment quickly so that your user achieves success as soon as possible. To do this, first identify your app core value and the CTA or call to action your user must take to receive this value. At the same time, an image will make the message easier to digest and lead them one step closer to clicking on your content. In case your app is for an e-commerce related activity, it is also the right place to offer a coupon to incentivize them to take the action, like a $10 discount on a first order. Key number six, add resource links and tips. Once your user has seen immediate success and depending on the complexity of your app, it is often necessary to provide additional help. It could be about FAQs you identify during the soft launch of your app how to use additional features through video tutorials, or access to your app's social media page, all of which you already created during the pre-launch phase of your app. Since your welcome email has to be rather short, make sure you do not provide the answers of the detailed tips in the email itself. Instead, use the email to guide them through the resources themselves. Key number seven, include your customer service contact details. The final element that should be included in the welcome email to setting your users up for success is making sure that they know how to contact you. Not all of your users will feel comfortable checking out the FAQs and tutorials section, and some might just prefer picking up the phone or reaching out through chat for help. By doing so, you continue to establish a foundation of trust by guaranteeing your user that you are available to help at any time. Key number eight, close with an original call to action. Having read the email, your users are now even more eager to get started. Having that call to action again makes it easier by not having to scroll back up to complete the action you are requiring. It is also the second reinforcement to your users that they made a great choice downloading your app. So that's it for the eight keys to powerful welcome emails. I hope you enjoyed this video. There is of course much more to discover about mobile app marketing. And if you wish to do so, or if you need help with your digital marketing needs, check out my website at gilargivier.com. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, and tell other people about it. Thank you for watching.